What's up? My name is Erson Villatoro. I want to give you guys my top 10 most viewed videos on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look, I didn't want to get up this morning. I woke up at 3 a.m. Went to sleep at like 10 fucking 11 p.m. last night. Fucking my watch started vibrating at 3 a.m. And I didn't want to get up. I did not want to get up. Didn't want to hit the gym. But I had already missed two days of the gym for sleeping in. So what the fuck was I going to do? Was I going to be a weak little bitch? Stay in? Not go to the gym? Or was I going to get the fuck up? And go hit the gym? So guess what the fuck I did? I got up. Hit the fucking gym. Didn't give a fuck how I was feeling. I was tired. But who gives a fuck? Nobody knows whether I go to the gym or not. But I give a fuck whether I go to the gym or not. Right? So I went and hit the gym. Didn't give a fuck how I felt. That's what you gotta stop giving a fuck so much about. How you fucking feel. If you're a young man, you need to learn how to defend yourself in a fight. Right? Long time ago, years ago, I was in juvenile hall. I've learned a lot in my time in juvenile hall. In probation camp, in different group homes, in rehabs, fucking all these different places, right? One of those things I learned was that I, I needed to learn how to fight and defend myself in a fight if I ever got into one, right? I get into a, a number of fights in juvenile hall, lost a lot of them right and if you're a young man that is that doesn't know how to fight and is trying to avoid conflict in order to not get into a fight that you know you're gonna lose you're gonna end up losing in all of life right it's just a fact right fear doesn't control you control your actions first before fear takes control over you you can't go any single moment in time without being controlled so control yourself in the fear before fear starts to control you. With most of the decisions I made, if I wanted to relax, they were cool with it. And I'm, I'm not saying that the people now are the same way because now the people, are, people I'm around are urging me to take a break, to get a day off, to get some rest. Yo, so I've been training myself to not give a fuck what other people think for maybe like the past month or two in this one way. So whenever I'm driving, in the past, I would listen to music, put it on low volume because I was scared of what the other drivers were thinking about the genre of music I was listening to and the fact that I would rap along to the music that I was listening to. Whether it was drivers or pedestrians, I gave a fuck what everybody thought of me. So for the past month or two, about a month or two, I'm going to say a month, I've been leaving my volume on full on the highways, on the regular road, in parking lots, I would leave the volume on full, rap along to the music, and whenever I saw somebody who was looking at me, at my car at least, in the direction of the music that they were hearing, I would look them in the eyes and continue to rap along to the music in order to train that part of my brain to do things in spite of what other people might think, in order to train myself to not give a fuck what other people think about me. The only reason you would have a plan B is because you don't trust yourself to follow through with your plan A. There's Jack and there's Chad. Chad has a extremely strong, feasible, unbreakable, irresistible work ethic. And Jack, he's lazy. He gets distracted easily. He makes excuses and justifies why he doesn't do the things he wants to do. He wishes he does that he wishes he did. He makes justifications why he doesn't do the things he wishes he did. I've set a standard with my own parents of me waking up at 3 a.m. every day. Some days I'll wake up at seven. They'll know I wake up at seven and they won't say anything about it because either they understand that they're not doing that. Therefore, why would they tell me to do it? Or they think I'm just taking a break. It could be anything. They justify why they don't hold me accountable. I used to think that me being alone would bring about my highest amount of work ethic. And I was ignorant to believe that. While Jack is saying, I can't pay a hundred bucks a week in order for my laundry to get done. I'd rather go for two hours. While Chad is saying a hundred bucks and I get two hours from that, let's go. 
Let's see what I can get done in these two hours. Let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below.